Hi, my name is William English. I own English Management Solutions in San Diego, and we are a QuickBooks Pro Advisor certified in QuickBooks Point of Sale. In fact, we helped co-author the B12 certification material for Intuit. I'd like to spend a few minutes today showing you how to fix a receiving voucher that has been entered incorrectly. QuickBooks Point of Sale has a feature called reversing. It's designed to allow you to fix mistakes, but in practice it generally creates more problems than it fixes. So we train our customers never to use reversing. So an example of reversing would be, for example, I go into my receiving history, I click on I want to, and reverse. So it will create an offsetting document. However, the problem is, is that it creates that offsetting document as of today. So for example, in this case, I've received the inventory a few weeks ago. I reverse the document and what happens is that it will create the reversing or the return document as of today. That will throw my inventory off. And worse yet, if it's a sales receipt and you're using Intuit's merchant processing, it would actually refund the customer back. It'll warn you, of course, but it'll still refund the customer, which is generally not what you want to have happen. So let's show you how to fix a voucher without reversing it. First of all, we're going to find the incorrect voucher. In this case, it's the invoice number 1546. And we're going to go ahead and click on I want to. And we're going to copy. At this point, we have a copy of the original voucher. The next step is to I want to change to return voucher. This will go ahead and take the items back out of inventory and has the effect of canceling the bill. The reason that you might need to do this is manifold. For example, let's say that the cost of the items were different than when you first received them and then you got the invoice. So this is a good reason why you would have to copy and change the voucher. Next up, we're going to go ahead and change the date to match the existing date of the original voucher. In this case, it was 5-7. OK. So note that I have return. I have it as of the date of the original voucher. I'm going to go ahead and save that. The effect of this is to actually cancel or reverse the document without truly reversing it in the way that point of sale would have you do it. Next up, we're going to go ahead and go back to our receiving history. We're going to find that voucher again. Note, we have a return now. We're going to say, I want to. Copy. Now, this is the document that we're going to change. Oh, in this case, price of these two items went up. change my billing information and if I need to I'll go ahead and print my tags but because we're fixing something most likely that won't happen go ahead and click on save or save and print depending on your preference it's going to go ahead and tell us that the cost is different because in fact it is we changed the cost of those two items I'll say I'll review prices later, or I can even hide that message. In this case, we actually had a couple of items that were on back order, but I'm going to go ahead and close that for the purposes of this example. That's it. Just that easy. You have fixed the receiving voucher without using reversing. Thank you for your attention. Let me know if you have any questions about this tutorial.